So we've come to session eight in our sermon series study and home group studies, Greater Things. And now we're going to look at the miracle of Jesus walking on water. Famous story. Now, what are some of the aspects of this story that stand out? Uh, Jesus walks on water. He calls Peter to come out on the water. You probably all know the story. But what's the meaning of this sign, of, of this miracle? Ben, starting with you. Yeah, so I think I empathize a lot with Peter in this story. Uh, I love to sail. And I remember taking a crew out on a boat, sailing, and, and it was a little lake. We're not talking Sea of Galilee. We're talking like, you know, you go swimming and it's a Minnesota lake. But it was windy. And we round a corner and the boat is keeling over. I've got people falling off. I'm supposed to be captaining this ship. And, you know, there's the fear and the panic that goes into that. Now, add to Peter's situation. It's, it's crazy dark. Um, you know, the situation is much, much worse. And then, on top of that, they've got this person walking out there in the water, and they're trying to figure it out, kind of freaking out. They may think, well, maybe it's a ghost. Um, And then, if that's not enough, then, recognizing, I think it's Jesus, Peter's like, hey, call me to go out to you, and and he goes out on the water. So, like, there's this crazy combination of, I'm about to die, and God is calling me out to do something incredible, and I'm doing it, but at the same time, I'm realizing this is not going to end well for me. And so in that crux, in that moment, I think, man, there is just going to be so much fear. And I think we can relate with Peter in that, like, God, what are you doing here? How is this supposed to work out? Because I'm pretty sure this ends badly. So, so Kevin, what is the deeper meaning of this miracle? You know, I just think of uh, the power that Jesus have has over all things. And you know, we can see that in a physical way and walking on water and their mind goes spinning in all kinds of directions there. But just think about his power over life and death and his calling us to meet him and follow him into the unknown. And that is really something that every one of us deals with is as we are invited into that relationship with him, that we are going somewhere that we have never been, and we don't know what's around the corner, but he is there. Home groups, I think this uh, study is is really an easy one to relate to our lives. We all deal with fear, that that barrier that keeps us from greater faith. Uh, Following this introductory video is the questions. They'll be right there before you on the screen. Go through those questions after you've taken some time to read through uh, the text. And spend time following that in prayer together. Hope you are enriched. Hopefully you're encouraged uh, with this study. I I encourage you to open up with each other and share your concerns, your fears, and your struggles in order that you would grow closer together. Hey, have a great study.